Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be trying to make a boat out of car wrap. I got this PVC pipe they're going to be using for the frame and then going to wrap it with a car wrap. Hey, it should work. I think I'm going to make it four feet long by two foot wide. That should be plenty big enough just for me. Let's go ahead and get these pipes cut here. I'm going to cut two at four feet. I think I'm going to do it more like a flat bottom shape than a canoe shape because I don't want to be falling over in this. So this is going to be the bottom and then I'll build up the sides and then we'll wrap it. Hey, I looked on YouTube. There's a bunch of videos about people building boats like out of duct tape and stuff, but I haven't seen one out of car wrap. So hey, maybe I'm not building the Titanic, you know. You can buy all the little elbows and teeth brackets and stuff like that, but I'm just going to use duct tape. Yeah, I'm just going to connect them with duct tape. It's going to be fine, guys. Just get them connected, then I'll go back and strengthen them up a little bit. I'm going to cut two more at two foot long, and I'll put one in the center and one at the other end. Then I'll go back and we'll really wrap these with duct tape good. So, All right, we got the basic frame of the bottom here. I'm going to go back and really secure these joints here. Hey, if you watched my video where I wrapped her liner in my trailer, I kind of talked a little crap about that American Picker Show, about how their store in Nashville was kind of overpriced. I seen on Facebook where that mic from that American Picker Show is like 20 minutes away from me right now at another town. Got me a little worried, you know. You don't think he's coming down here to kick my butt, huh? Hey, he's older, I can probably take him. I think the back, I'm gonna do it straight, and then the front, I'm gonna do it kind of a slant. So I need to kind of measure it out to see how long I need my pieces to be. All right, so I'll do these bottom ones at four feet. So then if I cut the top at five feet, I can kind of angle it out a little bit on the front. Be more like a flat bottom, you know? Just kind of taping them on a little bit just to get them in place. Then we'll go back and really cake it on there, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm just using what I got, okay? So we got some of this uh, PEX pipe using that too. It's gonna be a whole collage of different kind of pieces and parts, but hey, it's just the frame. Got that, hey, does that look like a flat bottom? Pretty close. Be nice if I had some help. I have you watched my channel a lot, you know I'm usually doing everything by myself, okay? It's starting to take shape now. Oh yeah, that's not gonna come apart. Put me a couple more braces going this way. Hey, this is what you call redneck engineering. Give me a little X brace right here. That really stiffened it up a lot. Uh oh. Hey, I did all that with one roll of duct tape. I still got some left. Y'all seen all that stuff going on about the astronauts being stuck in space? Hey, send me up there. I'll fix it. No, seriously, though, I hope they get that figured out. That's scary. This is all the pipe I got left. I thought I might as well go and put an X uh, back here too. Might as well. All right. That's pretty solid now, so I think it's time to wrap it. Whew. Hey, I got on YouTube shorts. All I see is dang Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Stop, please stop. I am happy for them, but it's time to move on. I know I ain't got enough, but I got some black that I'm gonna put on the side, so really just trying to get the bottom covered up with this. Get this liner off without creasing it out of crap. One piece. Very awkward. Hey, if you're standing in the woods with uh, some duct tape and car wrap, you could definitely build a boat out of it, I think. Well, I don't see no holes in it, so that's good. I got some black and some gray wrap that I'm going to use for the sides and the back and front, so let's go ahead and do that. I got some of this that like shimmers in the sunlight. It's going to make it pop. How y'all think that's going to float? It should. Okay, Whew. now it's got to do the front and back.
got some black, I'm gonna use it with a front. Make it look good, you know. What's the odds of this floating, huh? You think it's gonna sink immediately? I think it's gonna work. I'm gonna take my heat gun and go over all these seams and seal it up. Then I got some sealer tape I'll show you. I'm gonna put those in all the seams. Should be ready. I didn't think about a seat. I'm gonna have to figure that out real quick. But first, I got some of this clear sealer tape that you use with wrap. I'm gonna put that on all the seams. I believe it's sealed up, guys. Right, here's my seat. I'm gonna put it in there and duct tape it to the sides. Should work. There we go. SS steel right there. Well, let's take it to the lake and see what happens. Oh, we're at the lake. We're getting ready to test this thing. Woo, wish me luck. You think it's gonna float? I doubt it. All right, final inspection. I don't see no cracks or tears or anything, so put it in here and see if it floats. I don't see any leaks. Now, how am I gonna get in here? Got me a stick as a paddle. Take my Crocs off. Here we go. Oh no! A little back heavy. Whoa. Whoa. All right, let's try this again. I was way too far in the back of it. Hey, it floats. I don't know if I'd want to take it down the Mississippi, but Woo. Hey, I should have brought my fishing pole. Woo. Man, I got soaked. <laughs> Whew, it's a little wobbly.